There's been a lot of chatter about electric trikes this year. We saw a red and electric release theirs, but I think I have one that's just a little bit better in comparison to those. I've been shopping around for electric trikes to test and review, mainly because my wife would like to join me sometimes when we go out for rides. She's not real fond of e-bikes, she fell over once, but I'm not sure how I feel about her riding the electric track either. It's kind of iffy, kind of sketchy around turns. The Mooncool TK1 is a folding electric track with 20 by 3 inch rims and tires. I of course got stuck getting the cinnamon pink one at the request of her, but it's starting to grow on me just a little bit. So take it easy down in the comments, don't make fun of me too bad. This is probably going to be the last time you see me ride this track, but you might see it in some other videos coming up soon. Today is the first time ever being on a trike, a pink one at that. So we're gonna go right by the construction zone so all the dudes can laugh at me. <laughs> oh shit. It's a little weird, that's for sure. I hope my wife can ride this, it's a little weird. But on the street it's a little bit better. You just gotta be very careful because you will tip and fall over if you uh, don't take your time. Now riding with a selfie stick hanging off the side doesn't really help anything. And I'm sure that you guys are probably going to make fun of me on a pink track, but that's okay. I don't mind. Anything to make a video. I was almost certain that this thing would do 20 miles an hour. It's getting pretty close to that. But again, I don't know if I'd want to go much faster than this on here. Especially when you're in the area, a small neighborhood where you're going to be turning and stuff. But well, turning's a little awkward, a little different. But not too bad now that I've learned how to ride it. It is pretty fun to ride though, that's for sure. I think it feels pretty safe. We're gonna have to get some mirrors put on here for our, again, we're gonna put our doggy on here. I think if we, uh, if she takes it easy, she should be able to ride this. She's just gotta get used to it. Now we're not gonna do any speed tests or anything. Let's see what it's like to pedal. Oh, that's really weird, actually. And there's, it's a single speed, so there's no gears at all. Here's the uh, roundabout. Let's go through this. Gotta go through this slow. You just really gotta slow down when you get into those corners. And my headlight's on a little crooked, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But so far it's pretty comfortable. This seat is awesome. Full speed around that turn, not bad. I'm not going out on the main road on this, it's too slow. Yeah, it's pretty fun. You might see something there that you haven't seen before. We'll see if it comes out to the, oh, there she is. Hey, Lucy. Yeah, we got a new kitty. They say she's about one year old. I don't know if I really want her to be in the garage, but she was crying and I have to film. And here's my other animal, my puppy dog, Oreo. He's a little jealous, but he'll get used to her. They're getting used to each other already. It's only been a couple days. I can put Lucy in this video because we're surprising Ethan. We actually got two cats. We got a baby kitten that's going to be coming here in a couple, maybe a couple weeks. And then we have Lucy. And Lucy is pretty cool. She's really active. Of course, she's a kitten, so she's interested in everything. I don't mind her being out here in the garage as long as nobody opens the garage when she's out here. She will take off, I'm sure. But our video today is about the Moon Cool 
TK1. This is a electric trike, if you couldn't tell. Has a hub motor right here in the middle of the frame that goes to a differential that controls both back wheels. So that's pretty cool. They are 20 by three inch tires, knobby tires. Uh, they're really grippy. They work good for the speeds that this goes. Uh, the top speed that I've gotten it to is 18 miles per hour right out of the box. You don't really want to go much faster than that. I think the max would be 20. Uh, this is cinnamon pink. It looks more like a salmon color to me, but it is a unique color to say the least. It has this really big headlight on the front that works really decent at night. It's got a front rack. I also have a front basket for it. These are all included in the rear rack. I have the battery off the bike right now so I can demonstrate that you can actually put the battery on without having to move the seat. So at my height at 6'2", I got the seat up pretty high. If you're shorter, it can drop down in about another 10 inches. The front wheel has a quick release on it and the frame folds in half. So you can literally put this in a car if you want. You will need help. It is awkward. I would say doing it by yourself is probably not the easiest thing, but if you have an SUV, you could definitely do it. They have four different colors, so not just cinnamon pink. If you're a male and you want to get this trike, uh, they have a couple different colors. So they have vibrant orange, cinnamon pink, which is this one, slate gray, and it looks like they're sold out of the cyan green which is like a blue green color and then they have white so white slate gray cinnamon pink and vibrant orange are all in stock right now uh, it looks like they only have one orange one left uh, so you you better hurry if you want to want to pick this one up uh, they currently have it listed for $15.99 on their website of course that's going to change depending on when you're watching this it's the holiday season if you'd like to save 200 bucks off the Mooncool TK1, you can do so by using my coupon code RANDYRIDES200. That'll save you $200 off the price of the Mooncool. Right now at the time of filming this video, it puts it at $13.99. So the battery can slide right in between the basket and the seat, and it goes right down through there. And you just kind of set this here, and that's pretty much it. It's really easy. And I'm not going to lock it because we're not going for a ride. I'm just talking about it. One thing that really surprised me, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see it, is that they have hydraulic brakes. So they are Star Union hydraulic brakes. And I was only doing 18 miles an hour max on this trike. So I didn't, you know, really have a chance to test the brakes. But at that speed, these things work excellent. Uh, you'll never need anything more than that unless you plan on upgrading it. One thing that I really do like about this, you can fill this track up with batteries. And if you're only doing 18 miles per hour, you're going to get a ton of range. If you need a lot of cargo space, there's a ton of it. Again, you get a basket with the front as well if you need that. Uh, I have a doggy bag, which is over here, kind of out of the way. He's not riding in the winter, but that straps on to here. And that's what we're going to use. The battery is a 14.5 amp hour battery. They claim the range is 35 to 60 miles, depending on how much you use that throttle. To turn the lighting on for nighttime for headlights and taillights, you push and hold the plus button. There is a lot of information on here. So it actually has everything that you would want on a bike on the screen. So it gives you the odometer, trip, Voltage, which is 52.8 right now. 54.6 is max. Current, so it'll tell you how many watts you're drawing when you're out there using the throttle. And RM, I don't know what that is. And this is the, the elapsed time that you've had the trike on. Now we can turn off the headlight by just pushing and holding plus. And if you push and hold minus, it puts it in the walk mode. Again, it has a half twist throttle, and as you can see, I'm twisting it, it's not moving, and that's because we have the assist all the way off. So you can actually disable this throttle by going all the way down to zero. Now, if we put it in one, we got throttle there. The turn signal is down there in the middle. I would have liked to see them integrated over here in the rear tail light. 
Now let's turn the lights on so you can see the tail light. And they have tail lights right here on the fender and on the back. And then all of them activate the brake light, which is cool. Very good visibility on the road. I like to see that. Now, all of the fenders are metal and painted the same color as the track, which I like to see. This is a matte finish. Uh, the paint job is cool. I, I really like that. And then the final thing up here on the dash is your horn. And it's just a little dinky horn, which is probably good enough. And you may even want to get a bell so you don't scare people if you're on a bike trail. It also has front suspension that is adjustable. Not a whole lot of travel there, but I, like I said, I don't think you're going to be going off-road that much, so you don't really need very much travel. Uh, the only thing that you would really be benefiting from is going over a bumpy road or if you hit a pothole, uh, that'll come in handy. Uh, it does have a quick release on the front wheel, so you can take the front wheel off when you fold it up. That'll make it a little bit easier to get it into a tighter package. I think this would totally beat the electric trike that's out right now, as well as the Rad Power trike. I haven't tested either one of those. If you're interested in seeing more electric trike and electric bike content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when I upload my videos. That way you can stay on top of everything that's coming out. Uh, next year is going to be a busy year, I can tell you that already. Uh, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that are happening. Uh, a lot of it I can't share, but you guys are going to be really excited about 2024 uh, once you see some of the stuff that's coming out. Uh, if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe. Alright, I started the process of unboxing this bike, and I figured I would record from this point on. Looks like it's got 20 by 3 inch wheels and tires. Uh, I don't know about all of it. I don't know if I have to assemble any of it. Looks like I might. The front wheel at least. Alright, first part of the assembly is installing the handlebars. Uh, these are really easy because they have it notched out so it only goes in one way. Front wheel needs to be assembled, front fender. Pretty much like a normal bike. Uh, I've never put a track together, so not much different. It's got little bitty uh, BMX style handlebars, which is kind of cute. My wife's really gonna like this, but here's the main cool logo. All right, here it is out of the packaging. I still gotta put the seat on the right way. Look at that seat though, it's pretty massive. Definitely it looks like this is a girl's trike for sure. Uh, they do have other colors, so it may be unisex, but this particular one, definitely for a woman. I like the drivetrain. It doesn't have gears, just a single drivetrain with a hub motor, and the hub motor controls the two wheels in the back. It's just a disc brake right in the middle, and there's the gearing. The chain hits the hub motor right there, and then another chain to the pedals. We got a tail light and two side lights, it looks like. And then here's the headlight. Looks like it's a pretty big round headlight. I've never seen a headlight like this particular shape before, so this is new to me. Um, but super cool. I like where the battery's mounted right behind the seat. Uh, it looks like you may have to take the seat off to get to the battery, which is fine. Or you can charge it on the trike. There's a labeling TK1. This is their first trike. Moon cool is made. Moon cool is actually a pretty new company from what I've seen. They just have a couple new uh, new e-bikes. And one of them's a track, one of them's a dual motor 26 inch bike. Hopefully I'll get that one in the future and we can review it as well. But this one's gonna be kind of different. But this is my first one. Might be my last one. I don't know. They take up a lot of space. This particular one is not super big though. Uh, we'll get some measurements once I get everything together and see what we got. So all you got to do is put your wheel on, use your quick release, then install the fender, which you don't even have to do, uh, but install the fender, install the headlight, plug the headlight in up there, and that's really all you have to do to assemble this. Everything's put together, even the pedals. So very easy assembly for anybody. I think you can all do this very easily. 
All right, here it is with the fender installed. I'm gonna go ahead and install the front rack right up here. All right, we're now installing the headlight. Uh, it's just gonna go right up here in the front rack, or right in the front there, there's a little mount. And then there's an extension cable in the bag. And you also use this, and it plugs into the yellow port up there. Looks like they also have a green cable that's unhooked, so we'll connect that. And then all you have to do is tighten that nut and allen bolt right there to get the headlight installed and then like i said you'll go up here uh, you got your extension cable which extends up to the wiring up here and then again they have a green cable unplugged here i don't know why i believe this goes to the display and uh, you just connect these two wires too uh, but it is a pretty small track which is both good for folding and putting it in your car if you want to do that. Uh, it does fold in half and the handlebars fold down. It does include the front rack and the front basket and the rear basket. So that's pretty nice. And it looks really, really clean. Uh, simple display, simple handle grips that you see on a lot of bikes. This actually has turn signals it looks like. So we'll see how that works once we get everything hooked up and a horn. The front headlight looks a little different here. Um, I did try mounting it upside down. I might end up going that route, but the only problem is it does get pretty close to the tire. Yeah, this is not an off-road vehicle by any means. So coming down here is probably not the smartest idea.